Good morning everyone, welcome, please take a seat, today is Wednesday, we are getting our reset, our weekly reset in EU as well, after NA got theirs yesterday. So, we have quite a few more things to do every week, roughly the same things you could say that we had to do last week, with the exception of leveling multiple characters. So you're going to have quite a lot of things to keep track of in this new reset once again, the Siege on Dragonbane weekly rewards that you could do up to three times, the Maruk hunts that you could do up to three times, the Tuscar Feast as a weekly reward, then you add the, the trial events, one in Onaran Plains and one in Taldrassus that you could do every week not to mention remind yourself to do the rare farm every day now besides all of that there is another thing that we can do which is mythic zero so what i wanted to do for today and for the next probably couple of days depending on how long it will take is to welcome everyone who wishes to join from my stream into some mythic zeros unfortunately if you are from na unless you want to get a wow account from eu and insta level a character from 1 to 70 all of a sudden and then get yourself up to get into mythic zeros this is going to be an event just for eu players but because of what we discovered at the start of this expansion which is that the best biggest largest and chardest item level will come not from mythic zero but from basically the open world whether it is the weekly event the weekly trials or the daily rares the mythic zero loot has lost quite a bit of importance is not that necessary to do try hard things in mythic zero like armor stacking you know trying to get with a group of people with very high item level as well as being able to trade all of that item level so you have more chances to be able to equip yourself and not let any of that gear go to waste so since that is not nearly as important at the start of this expansion i thought why don't we just have a group of misfits uh, joining in the mythic zero runs even if you don't have that much item level that much gear even if you haven't even done them before last week before you were taking it easy i am going to be there of course to carry you because that's what healers do right they're going to carry a, a dungeon so starting from tonight on stream at 10 p.m european times 1 p.m pacific us times and 4 p.m eastern us times that's where i will be looking for some players from the stream to join in my my mythic zeros world tour now after this announcement hoping to see a few of you uh, joining in tonight we have to talk about a few things happening in this reset so there have been quite a few changes and we should say not changes that were supposed to be changes this week because for example we have gotten the siege of dragon bane keep nerfed now maybe you didn't even know that it was that powerful and now you just discovered that you missed out on a few chances to get better loot the problem with the siege on dragon bane is that it had a timer to begin right a timer to begin and to complete and you could complete multiples of these in the same time frame you join one very quickly as soon as it finishes you hop on the looking for group tool and you join a different one that is in progress and then you can get loot in there as well etc 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 blizzard has nerfed this on this reset they have now made it so that you can only get one bag as a reward every hour so you can no longer stay in there and try to join multiple groups minutes apart to get the rewards multiple times that's the first fix for the open world stuff then we have gotten even more fixes again centered around that area of the map the obsidian citadel so this time the fixes were about of course the grind the key grind for this abelian or Aratian reputation we have gotten the initial nerf which was very early on at the release of the expansion where previously the ring being rewarded and the necklace being rewarded were at reputation fang level and friend level but they were up all of a sudden into friend and true friend level so they upped an entire tier of, of reputation needed to get these items and then they nerfed the spawn rate of the mobs in the zone the degenerate grinding that players were doing caused blizzard apparently to not enjoy it too much to the point that now they made the entire process a little bit slower then there was one of the more debate inducing with the debate still going on right now which was this announcement right here coming from blizzard with the scheduled weekly maintenance we are going to have a change that will have many world quests associated with the valdraken iskara toskar and dragon scale expedition now we set daily no longer semi-weekly 
The Maruk Centaur, who already have the camp mechanic that gives you some dailies, were not going to be affected by this. This announcement from Blizzard lasted a grand total of five hours. Five and a half, more or less. So all it took for Blizzard to change their mind was about a fourth of a day before they came out with this announcement. Upon further review and consideration, we have decided to drop this change at this time. They point out that following your feedback, the player's feedback, and our own internal discussions, we are going to try to find other ways to accomplish our goal. Their goal being to avoid making world quests feel mandatory while still offering them as a worthwhile option for players who are looking for things to do on a given day. So this, of course, ended up spawning two very clear factions, the faction that wants things to do every day because they feel like they, 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 they progress their character even though the things end up not giving any power to their characters, even though they end up not giving things like gear or sockets or enchants or any type of new borrowed power present in the expansion, they still feel like they, they, they want to do something every day. And then there was the other side that doesn't want to do it. They don't want to be, to be weighed down by the pressure of needing to do something every day, or perhaps they know they have an addiction. They know that if they log into the game and they open up the map and they see all of those little world quest dots all over the map, they want to do them. If you sit them down, you look them straight in the eyes and you tell them all of these world quests don't give you any power, you don't have a need to do them, you don't have to be forced to do them, they will still not agree with it, they will still feel like they must do them. So apparently this has been quite the debate going on. Personally, I don't care. I think in the long run, Perhaps not now, but in the long run, it might end up hurting the part of the player base that will not take part in the end game activities. So the ones that won't get busy with uh, rated battlegrounds, arenas, uh, solo shuffle, mythic plus and raiding. I think that part of the player base will inevitably get hurt more by this change because you will just have less things to do. Yes, you want to be forced to get in every day, but eventually you will start asking yourself, why do I even log in every day? if there isn't even that much left to do. So I think in the long run, perhaps it might not be as good of a choice, but it's good to know that given how Blizzard can quickly go back on a decision like this in the span of five hours, perhaps in the long run, in the future, they might also eventually <laughs> give in and apply this change to give us daily world quests. There has also been a victory for altaholics and alt characters, players who were already planning on leveling up multiple characters, perhaps even planning ahead of time to park them in a corner, maybe just use them for professions to be some crafting bots of sorts. Then Blizzard has given them a help because now getting the grind, so to speak, to get to get all of the campaign in Taldrasses to unlock the spark of ingenuity, the, the one you need for your crafting big items, big pieces of gear, that is no longer going to be tied to your storyline in Taldrassus, which means that now an alt character, which for example can speed level to max in like two hours now, now they will no longer need to also stop and go and do the entire campaign quest of Taldrassus. They can just stop by and do the five minute quest chain to unlock the the earning of the spark of ingenuity without having to go and do the campaign so as i said quite good for players who had leveled up already multiple characters perhaps some of which purely for the purpose of crafting and not really playing it fully this is going to be a good help and a time saver when it comes to leveling up your characters we will see we will see now as we get into this new week any new additions any new changes from blizzard coming as we get close to the release of the season of course the biggest largest pair of eyes is going to go on to the <laughs> balance tuning right any more possible changes to balance tuning as we approach the opening of the let's call it competitive season for the activities coming out very soon so that is obviously the most important possible change we can have before the season begins any more changes of power to specs and classes so waiting for that for now we can take a break here for today as a yet another reminder for tonight on stream, I will be doing some Mythic Zeros, whether it is on my Evoker or on my Druid. And I will gladly accept anyone from my viewers who wants to come and join for a ride in the Mythic Plus World Tour. So 
this aside we can stop for today thanks of course as usual to all of my patreon supporters for uh, helping me and contributing to the growth of the channel you can support still in other ways not including the expenditure of cash commenting and liking down below as well as subscribing to the channel itself are good and money free ways to support lastly of course you can follow me on twitter as well as subscribing to my patreon to get access to my discord server and of course as an obvious reminder at this point i am found on twitch streaming as well past 10 p.m european time zones 1 p.m pacific and 4 p.m eastern u.s time zones so with this out of the way thank you guys again for watching see you guys soon and in the meantime i have to go eat and for once i am actually in time i am almost early on when i was supposed to go and eat finally